now uh, of course uh, the, the Supreme Court uh, I, I believe it's on the eighth day of August 2022 when it declared uh, it declared the CDF Act of the year 2013 mm -hmm as unconstitutional for failing on a number of constitutional principles. Mm -hmm. And particularly speaking, uh, they highlighted that uh, in their view, uh, the CDF, I, I mean, uh, to the extent that uh, members of parliament are, are actually using money for development in their constituencies, and they will not have any oversight because their responsibility is oversight. So in other words, they will be oversighting themselves while using this money. Mm -hmm. Now, th that is, th th that is a, uh, you know, uh, uh, some some comedy of tales uh, mm -hmm. or confusion that that has not been countenanced or was not expected in our constitution. So, to that extent, the Supreme Court declared that Act of the Year 2013 to be unconstitutional. Now, there there is another Act of the Year 2015, mm -hmm. the NGCDF. Mm -hmm. Now, which is just you know the, the same CDF that has mutated to something else. Mm -hmm. So, it has mutated to now a government, a national government function. Mm -hmm. So that is the national government. Now it is now the member of parliament who is the patron of the, the whole initiative. Uh, and now uh, w one thing that is of course uh, v very clear is that uh, the member of parliament, the member of parliament is not now directly involved with the funds mm -hmm. in the NGCDF. Mm -hmm. So what what now? Uh, I, I know too well that uh, members of parliament are finding themselves in a very uncomfortable situation. Yes. A and I had, uh, j just the other day, I had Mwenje, who's mm -hmm. just recently, Honorable Mwenje, who's just recently been elected mm -hmm. uh, on uh, Jubilee ticket in uh, Embakasi West, mm -hmm. uh, making mention that, you see, it will be difficult to, to satisfy the electorate. Mm -hmm. uh, because the electorate are just used to CDF, mm -hmm. you know, bursaries, uh, you know, some handouts here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean... What, what is very clear from the set statements, mm -hmm. from either the conduct or the express uh, words from uh, our members of parliament, is mm -hmm. that our, our members of parliament have not made the citizens aware of their role and responsibilities as members of parliament. Mm -hmm. People do not really know what they elect their members of parliament to do. Because a member of parliament is actually elected so that they can go and do their oversight roles. Mm -hmm over the national government and, uh, uh, and even the judiciary. A and even to come up with legislation that is going to, uh, to ensure that we, uh, we improve our livelihoods b because of the, the high cost of living. So when, when you hear, when you hear the, the, uh, some members of parliament mm -hmm. coming together in an attempt to, of course, sidestep, it is, it is a sidestep, mm -hmm. of what the Supreme Court has done, he is, of course, just feeding into uh, the, the misguided narratives that uh, the people have mm -hmm. over, over the roles and functions of the members of parliament. So they know too well that they will not, they will not just you know, be uh, debating in parliament uh, and go back to the electorate to ask for the vote. Mm -hmm. No. They know that they must be giving a project, uh, you know, funding a project here and there so that they can appease themselves mm -hmm. to the electorate. Mm -hmm. So to that extent, number one, I, I, I know it, it is within the functions and the mandate of parliament to mm -hmm. come up with the legislation. Mm -hmm. So the, if, uh, if they come up with a different legislation, then the courts are still there to relook or look into the new legislation, whether it conforms probably to the, the directive that the Supreme Court made. Mm -hmm. And I know too well also mm -hmm. that probably the, the, the parliament should be well advised or is well advised to circumvent some of those highlights that the Supreme Court did yes. in their judgment. Actually,